other things you can do. Um, on the website, we sell a range of acrylic gloss paints. Now, being gloss, uh, better than poster paints, these got a nice sheen to them. Um, they look really good. They're nice and bright. And um, you can buy them in six packs, okay? Or you can get them in the metallic ranges where you get your, your, your silver, your black and your white. And then same with your bronze. You get bronze, black and, and white. Um, and what these are effectively is your base colour and um, your highlight colour. Uh, and um, the, the main colour. So, so that again, so you've got your, your base colour here, which would be silver. Then you've got your shadow, which is the black. And then you've got a highlight, which is the white. Sorry about that. So if you have a look at the flintlock pistol that we've done in another video, um, you can see how we've used that effect, okay, to get the gunge in here, to get that metal effect um, on this component part. So you get a nice contrast. Works nicely on the cardboard tube as well. Good combo. Now, how have we done this effect, you ask? This is too much to do, I think, with a colouring pencil or Sharpies. Um, you need something that spreads easier. Okay, now this is where it gets a bit tricky because this is where you've got to spend a little bit of money to get yourself something. Um, right, I have looked at a range of finishes on the market and can give you some advice to save you some money, tell you what to get, what not to get. Okay, if you're a kid, all right, if you're, if you're not able to go out and buy your stuff, you need to do this with adult support, okay? Because what this is effectively, is like beeswax, um, but beeswax is very solid, okay? And to make it more of a paste, they add something like toluene, all right? Now that is um, not a nice chemical, um, and it does make it more pasty-like, works very nicely, a little bit like white spirit, uh, but you have to be careful, it's quite smelly stuff. Um, to compensate for that, some companies are doing this kind of thing. This is wood silk, uh, non-silicon polish, all right? And the way it works is they've added lavender. Good trick. Doesn't actually come out purple on the wood. Um, if you wanted that or if you didn't want that. Um, it comes out clear on the wood. Um, well, that's nice. At least that smells nice. Um, and they've done a similar one here again, lavender wax polish. Okay, but you can see the safety symbols there. All right, this isn't safe. It's not a product sold safe for toys particularly. Um, it's sold for, for polishing up furniture. Okay, and same for this one if you want a slightly darker finish. All right, but it's not terribly dark, this one. Um, Okay, but it uses, again, same kind of chemicals, harmful, you have to be careful, I wouldn't recommend you eat it. Okay, so that's the range there you've got. If you are an adult, okay, and you're going to assist, then you'd, you'd probably put on your, your, um, your rubber gloves, make sure you wash your hands, just like you're polishing a piece of furniture. Okay, or even your shoes, actually similar kind of stuff, polish. Right, this one um, will actually conform to a British standard or a European standard that's, that's considered safe for going on toys, okay? Um, the code you're looking for is EN 71 part 3, that little one there, okay? Now this one um, is a big tin, and I've been trying to find some smaller versions of this, but I can't. All right. If you buy this big tin, it's going to cost you about 10 English sterling. These other pots were all around 5 English sterling. So if you look at it, actually, you're getting more value for money for this one. The only one that was actually a decent price was this one, which can be as low as £1.50 to £2.50. Okay, depending on which shop you're going. Um, but again, not great with kids' toys. This one's better. This is a Liveron wax uh, polish okay black bison and the color well these vary okay and they are much better than these that are just generally clear or fairly pale and in, in terms of the dark one it's not as dark as you might think this one this one's medium oak right 
pretty good. You can get light oak, you can get dark oak, you can get Tudor oak. There's a whole range, mahoganies, teaks, okay? Um, now, it does have the safety symbols on the back, okay? The kind of warning. So this is still to be used with care, but afterwards it's considered safer to put on toys. And that's the main thing. Still smelly, all right? So do it in a well ventilated area. Applying this, pop lid off with a, um, a screwdriver, just be careful. And then you're rubbing that on with a nice cloth. All right. So they're the kind of finishes you get to get this kind of effect, to get this shade. So you're staining the wood and you're actually putting a finish on it as well. Okay. Now, that's done then. So that's done. You've waxed this, you've painted this, this toy is finished, it's safe to use.